Okay, student. Now let's talk about the various layers of the gases which are surrounding the Earth's surface. We call them as the various co concentric layers of the Earth's atmosphere. We already studied that the Earth's atmosphere is comprising of various types of gases, and each of these gases have their own importance. Apart from gases, there are so many other things which are found in the Earth's atmosphere. We will talk about them one by one. There are four layers in the Earth's atmosphere. They are the troposphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere and the stratosphere. You must have seen that we are using the suffix sphere after all these names. Sphere means because all these uh, layers are concentric in nature. They are all surrounding the Earth's atmosphere, Earth's surface in a circular way. So again I repeat the names. The troposphere nearest to the Earth. As we move further we have stratosphere, then we have mesosphere and then we have thermosphere. There is one more layer which is found between stratosphere and mesosphere which is known as the ozone layer about which we studied in the previous video. Now let's talk about all these layers one by one and also find out what is their importance. The layer nearest to the earth's surface is known as troposphere. The height of this uh, la uh, layer moves uh, uh, ranges from 0 to 10 kilometers. At the polar areas this layer is comparatively thinner and compressed. But at the equator, you find that the troposphere is a very wide layer, almost up to 8 to 10 kilometers. Now, what could be the possible reasons? One of the prime reasons is the temperature. At the equatorial areas, the places near the equator, the temperature is high. So, what happens is the air gets expanded. It expands, right? It becomes rarefied near the equator, so it, it occupies more space. But uh, on the other hand, the polar areas are almost frozen, they are very cold. And due to low temperature and high pressure, this layer is compressed. So you can say that this layer is closest to the Earth's surface. The height ranges from 0 to 10 kilometers. And most of the atmospheric features with which we are directly in, uh, influenced like rainfall, formation of clouds, presence of various dust particles in the atmosphere, various activities of condensation and precipitation, all these take place within the troposphere. Next layer is stratosphere. This layer sits on top of the troposphere, it is after the troposphere, that is after beyond 8 to 10 kilometers into the atmosphere. The elevation ranges from 10 to 25 kilometers. This layer contains the ozone layer which protects us from the harmful ultraviolet sun rays. Now this layer is preferred by people who are flying because as you know in this layer the presence of various atmospheric activities is negligible. So here the pilot can easily maneuver the flight. That is why it is the most preferred layer by the aviation department. After this we have a layer which is found in between stratosphere and exosphere. We call them as mesosphere. This layer is above the stratosphere. The height is from 25 to 100 kilometers. And then we have thermosphere. This is the highest layer of the atmosphere. The height ranges from 100 to 400 kilometers. This is where most small meteoroids burn up and is also the location in the atmosphere that the northern lights occur, known as Aurora Borealis. Now I'll tell you everything about it. Our Earth has got Meteors. Meteors are nothing but the cosmic fragments. There are so many planets, so many heavenly bodies which are there in the Earth's, uh, in our planetary system. So when they 
small portions of them strikes the earth surface or the strikes the earth's atmosphere so some of them starts burning and they come into earth's atmosphere and then they vanishes or they burns up completely sometimes the night you must have seen these shooting stars huh something so these are the when they reach the earth surface we call them as meteoroids otherwise when they look like a shooting star we call them as meteors similarly near the northern poles or even in southern pole you find that there is a dispersion of light the beautiful especially green orange and reddish color lights are visible to us if you go to areas beyond norway and sweden in the northern hemisphere you find these lovely northern lights we call them as aurora borealis all these are the formations taking place in thermosphere and then we have already studied about the various gases which are found in the earth's atmosphere that is the nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide hydrogen and argon and they have all, they have their own importances so in this way i want to request you to please draw the diagram which talks about the various layers of the earth earth's atmosphere this diagram is given in our textbook thank you so much